Hello everybody, this is David from Blue Cloud Vapes in Oldsmar, Florida, bringing you a quick review on the Vupu Drag 2. Really nice device as you can see. It's got drag on the back, black frame, chassis, updated chipset. It's got the new Fit chip. Love it a lot. Um, wanted to kind of share with you some differences between the original Drag and the Drag Mini. All right, so to start off, I wanted to kind of share with you why I like the Drag. The Drag was a very cool device, came out. It's a 157-watt device, metal chassis, external two-battery device. Has its really nice pluses, including the uh, chipset, which was, to me, the first one that actually read the coil and preset the watts according to what the most efficient ohm or uh, most efficient value was for the uh, ohm of the coil that you put on so it preset it for you so it was nice you know it was kind of a uh, took the guesswork out of uh from it for a lot of uh um users so that was nice now the uh, i sold a lot of these um the only thing i never really liked about it was uh the fact that it had these sharp edges you know and so the new design uh, they they softened the corners and uh, it's a little bit softer device. And also, who can debate about the colors? Look at those. Really nice co nice looking set of uh, devices here. All right, so then we carry on to the, the Mini. All right, so by comparison, you can see that the Mini is a little bit shorter, basically the same width. Now, the difference is this is an internal battery device really small fits in the palm of my hand really nicely um, so I really like this thing a lot because although I'm not a big fan of the internal battery devices this is a 4400 internal ma battery which makes this thing um, you know more ma than most so it's highly likely this thing could last you all day without being recharged so um, that's really a plus for these guys and um, given it that it's so small Wow, and it's got the uh, Fit chipset, automatically reads it, goes up to 117 watts. Um, who could say no to this, right? Um, got many different colors in this. But this is the uh, Vupu Drag 2. This is the reason why I'm doing the video today. I wanted to show you uh, more about this little device. Um, here you go, you have a, it is an 177 uh, watt device. Um, it is, takes two 18650 batteries, magnetic back, and um, it's got the fit chipset, and that's what I want to demonstrate to you. Although, you know, it does um, have the same technology as the original, uh, where it automatically detects, the fit chip is a mode that uh, allows you to um, have the most efficient experience from your coil so I'll go over that in a second so one two three four five cuts it on and you see it coming on all right and it just uh, it's, it's on 85 watts where I may have left off but you could see you know that it's got two uh, battery life indicators uh, you got your um, ohms your voltage and your timer on your seconds for duration of hit all right, so when I go to put in a, a tank, which I'm putting on the Horizon Falcon, which anybody that comes to my shop knows that I love, love, love this tank for many reasons, it'll ask you, um, is this a new coil? Yes, so we select the up button, and it automatically sets it at 90 watts. So here I'm already preset to 90 watts. All I can do is just vape and go. Or I can adjust it. I'm sorry. Uh, it's not all I can do. I can do a lot. All right. So anyway, it read it. So it says, all right, let's start off at 90. See how you like it. Now, the fit chip is what I wanted to share with you. So if I hit the fire button three times. Oops. One, two, three. All right. I have uh, fit mode. I have fit one, fit two, and fit three. All right, so one is battery efficiency. So if I'm vaping in fit one mode, as I vape, I'm gonna make the most efficient use of my batteries. And I probably wanna do that if I'm 
you know, at the end of the day, running low on battery life, I'm gonna extend it the most I can. Then I do um, fit mode one. Fit mode two says, give me the most, the, the best flavor out of my coil. All right, so I'm gonna use uh, fit two and it's gonna give me extremely good flavor. Fit three is max clouds. So max clouds is awesome, especially for people that really wanna de demonstrate or show off or hot box their car, who knows, all right? So uh, then this chipset has other modes it has a, <coughs> excuse me, uh, temperature coefficient, um, customizable modes. So if I go, if I hit the fire button three more times, one, two, three, I can go into temperature mode, stainless steel, nickel, titanium. I was reading that, you know, if you uh, um, attach this to the computer and you, um, you can actually download uh, NC, which is nichrome, and TC, which I'm not sure what TC is, but you can add other metals to your uh, device and vape in that uh, in those modes as well. All right, so here you know you have temperature mode. Um, I can round robin all the way down to <coughs> excuse me, 200 watts or Fahrenheit, and then it goes to Celsius. And then when I get down to 100 Celsius a round robins back to Fahrenheit. So, uh, and then, so while I'm in here, if I hit it three times, one, two, three, I can actually go back to wattage mode. So if I go one, two, three, I get into fit mode, one, two, three, I get into that, uh, the temperature mode. But if I go hold these two up, down buttons simultaneously, now I can get into um, TC mode, memory mode, one through five. Here, let me show you that. TC mode, memory load mode, one, two, three, five. I can uh, have a coil cooling adjustment and um, uh, temperature mode um, in a custom curve application. So there you go. All right, so if I'm in memory mode, I go, if I hit the fire button three more times, one, two, three, I can switch to watts, but if I go one, two, three, four, now I can actually custom curve my watts uh, uh, second by second, okay? For it looks like 10 seconds. All right, so then uh, I'm out of there. If I wanna go back to my watts, one, two, three. Um, and there I go, one, two, three. There, one, two, three. All right, so now, oops, let me get back out. Hold these two down. Now I'm in watts mode. All right, so pretty simple, huh guys? Um, great looking device, um, two batteries, 177 watts, um, it's got a lot of safety mechanisms built into it and this is something that I like a lot, um, devices that have safety protections or regulated devices and these are the ones that give people least amount of trouble. So uh, to rattle off all eight, we've got an overtime protection, we've got an over temperature protection, output over current protection overcharge protection, low battery protection, atomizer short circuit protection, and this was a new one for me. It's called, it says support balance charge with batteries from different manufacturers. Pretty interesting, I like that. Uh, that's really a smart, smart chipset that can do that. Battery anti-reverse protection, all right? So um, really cool device. It does not offer pass-through technology. All right, so when you're charging this device, you must have an external charger, um, or otherwise you can plug it in and charge it using a two-amp charger, and it'll be, it says it'll charge two hydrogen batteries within three hours. I find that really amazing. So really nice device. Come check it out. Blue Cloud Vapes in Oldsmar.